Obama's million dollar man has moved on to his latest target, that being Ann Romney. Now here's Mark clarifying what Democratic strategist Hillary Rosen meant when she said Ann Romney never worked a day in her life. The language here was perhaps inartful, or perhaps America is a society that lives to find stupid, non-consequential, <laughs> meaningless controversies, and this is the new one. But what she meant to say, I think, was that Ann Romney has never gotten her <laughs> out of the house to work. No one's, no one's denying that being a mother is a tough job. I remember I was a handful. <laughs> uh, okay. But, you know, there is a big difference between being a mother in that tough job and, and getting your ass out the door at 7 a.m. when it's cold, having to deal with a boss, being in a workplace where even if you're unhappy, you can't show it for eight hours. That is kind of a different kind of tough Thing, well, the thing it? is, all right. So, considering President Obama famously proclaimed in 2008 the media should quote lay off his wife, I'm sure this will be the catalyst for returning Mars million-dollar donation. Don't hold your breath. Here with reaction, Fox News contributors Kirsten Powers and Sandy Rios. Uh, thank you both for being with us. Look, Kirsten, we've gone through this a little bit, and this now this this keeps coming back as mm -hmm. you know the Democrats they they want to play this game and they want to energize this base. Sandra Fluck, but you don't call Sarah Palin. Uh, and then you take Bill Maher's money, who has been rude, crude, malicious, and vicious. So mm -hmm. they've got themselves, I think, a political problem here. Your thoughts? Okay, well, the president did come out, of course, and condemn what Hillary Rosen had said, as, as, did, as did Mrs. Obama. So I think that the, he has been clear that, that Ann Romney should be off limits. However, there's nothing's going to stop Bill Maher. Bill Maher is, without a doubt, the most misogynist person in the media, and yet he has this constant, uh, uh, you know, just constant stream of, of high-profile liberals coming to kiss his ring while he just continues to make sort of disgusting and despicable statements about women. Is Obama going to give the money back? Well, I don't know. He wouldn't give the money back for uh, for other things that are actually far worse than this. So I don't know why anyone would expect him to give the right. money back you know, for this. It's interesting because we've been on this issue that it's a selective moral outrage by liberals. Yeah. You pointed this out in a, in a series of columns that you put out there, and, and to your credit, you you did this. Um, and what I'm looking at, Sandy, is they've got themselves a, a pretty big problem here because they can't make this case about a war on women and we'll take a look again if you're taking money from this Bill Maher. Well, I think we're assuming that they don't agree because of that quick apology. But I have to say, Sean, at first I thought this was kind of a political stunt maybe uh, it, and it really was kind of unserious, but it is actually quite serious because what we now understand and what women of America need to understand is that the left has, is not friendly to families, not to a traditional family. Bill Maher is just expressing what the left believes, and so yeah. is Hillary Rosen. Hillary's part of human rights campaign. They are not in favor of the, the traditional family. And I think the left's policies have been hurting women for so many years, whether it's welfare policy, whether it's abortion rights, which hurts women. It's women who have to go through that process. It's well, women who are rendered sometimes infertile. It helps men, not women. Uh, there are policies on the left that are at war with women and have been for decades. Okay. Right. Before and I get so to the bill, the president embraces those. Let me. Before we get to the Bill Maher montage that I'm going to play here, you're exactly right. I mean, we've we've got some figures here, you know. And Mitt Romney brought this up. 92.3 percent of jobs lost since 2008 uh, were held by uh, women. And actually, it's through January 2009 when the president got into office. The number of women living in poverty now went up under President Obama. 17.63% uh, now. We have the unemployment rate for women has gone from 7 to 8.1%. The number of unemployed women has gone from 5 to 5. Point million, uh, and the numbers go on. But I go back to the basics here. How does the president lecture the country on tone, civility, public discourse when he's taking money from yeah, Bill Maher, I who says this? What I've been hearing about this uh, congresswoman in Minnesota is that she's the only person in public office these days who's actually dumber than Palin. But I don't know. After I heard that clip that you just showed me, that's a toss-up. That's a real Beavis and Butthead we've got there. So if you watch the whole night, it was kind of evolution in reverse. You know, you had <laughs> Obama, <laughs> and then Paul Ryan, and then Michelle Bachman. Then Animal Planet had a squirrel monkey give his take. I hope Sarah Palin gets in so that they split the MILF vote. Speaking of dumb, did you, um. 
and then worse things we can't play. C word among them, uh, Kirsten. Look, I, I think this is meant to be condescending. You know, in the case of Hillary Rosen, it was meant to be patronizing. It also played into their class warfare narrative. This is what they think. This is what they're saying. And this is what the president won't take on. He doesn't seem to have the moral courage to take it on. Well, I just want to address the fact of Hillary Rosen being the head of the human rights campaign, which she was for a while. That is not being opposed to traditional families. That is being in favor of, of rights for gay people. And those are not the same thing, contrary to what many conservatives would like to no, but say. But her comments were that, meant to be patronizing, condescending, think, and to play up class warfare. Okay, that's different. But that, uh, look, it's more, it's more, I don't think it was even meant to play up class warfare. Sure I think it was. that this is, this, is a, this is an issue that exists in our society. No. It's called the the mommy wars. You have no. women on, on, on each it different side. It was meant side. to be, oh, that rich Should, family look, is out of touch other. with the rest of us, the 99%, 1%. That's what it was meant it to was do. A dig, Sean, it was also one, a dig at, at stay-at-home yeah, moms. Sean, I mean, it was, it was a dig at stay-at-home like moms, make, and I think that it yes. was part of a larger narrative that exists in this society of people That's sniping sure, at each other. Um, All you right, know, let's go I can't finish the sentence, so I guess I'll just stop. I have to say that President Obama, we were assuming that he disagrees. I don't think he does. He was raised in a family. His father was a Marxist. His mentor was a Marxist. The Marxist theory on women is that they should work just like men. There is a total dripping disdain for women who stay at home and take care of their children. And women of America who are sort of friendly to the left's policies need to understand this. This is not an accident. This is what they believe. They hold uh, people like Ann Romney and others of us that have stayed home with our children in complete disregard and disdain, and they want to rewrite and remap the natural right, family. Last point. Let me go back to Kirsten. Last point. If somebody were to say, a conservative, that, you know, that since she's been first lady, Michelle Obama's not worked a day in her life. Now, she's the first lady. Well, Mitt Ro yeah. Mitt Ann Romney was the first lady of Massachusetts and raising five kids and battling cancer and also battling MS uh, yeah. and also helped her husband as it relates to the Olympics and a lot of other ways. But if somebody said that, why do I think we'd have a very different reaction from the left? I think the left reacted to Hillary Rosen's comment. I think that there was a lot of condemnation, and I, I just and, so and the just answer, Bill Maher they put and the up answer, with. And, the, and the answer just to, that now we're hearing that left-wing women are all Marxist and that have. I mean, I'm a no, left-wing woman, I didn't say that, and, 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 that, and that you know, and that they no. believe that women shouldn't be. You know, we have disdain for women who um, that's who stay at what home Marxist and all that socialist kind of stuff. theory teaches. That is Kirsten. not what Barack Obama believes. There is oh, no really? reason to believe that he prove believes that. that. Prove and that, and that they, you prove that he does believe it. Actually. Well, I, 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 I mean, we can say, he, we, he hang on, we can say this. Out. He immediately we can came say out this, and though, condemned Kirsten, what about, Hillary Rosen said. We can say yes. this about Barack Obama. Barack Obama says one thing and does another. Uh, Barack yes, he Obama, does, Sean. Ex, you know, feigns outrage and, and he's mm -hmm. morally selective outrage and a double yes. standard, but Barack Obama takes a uh, uh, million dollars from the guy that you describe as the biggest misogynist yeah, in the country. We don't we don't disagree on that, and we don't disagree that there's a double standard. So that's hypocritical, I just think that isn't we're getting it, by definition? This, of course it's hypocritical. So but the president's this, like, a hypocrite? But all this hateful, like, his dad Kirsten, was a Marxist. It's the truth. And, and Kirsten, he, and it's he, the truth. You don't know what you're Frank, talking about. You I are know making exactly. up I'm stuff. from Chicago. Oh, really? You, you were there. You were there. Right, I'm just getting too loud. You got this. I'll debate you any day on this, Kirsten. Hang on. Frank Marshall uh, Davis yeah. was a communist. That was his mentor. His uh, father was oh, a Marxist. Okay. I'm, I'm glad you yes. were there when he was growing up and you, you knew everything that was going right. on. And why don't you I guess have, about I the private conversation? We've got to end it there. Thank you I, both. You know,